Hello everyone. So my name is Madison Combs and I'm at Jeffersonville High School doing the after school gear up. And today what we're going to do is extracting DNA from bananas. So this is pretty neat. It's on pbsnova.org and you can just type in DNA extraction. I'll also put this on my Google Classroom for any students that would like this. And so what's pretty neat about this is you can use the items that you have at home. So for my purpose is I'm going to use a banana because I happen to have it at home. What you can also use that works really great is a strawberry, blueberries, and even your own DNA. All that's pretty neat. So let me show you what you need. You're going to need a couple cups. Any cup will work just fine. This one is full with some water, and I just used uh, filtered water, which is also called DI water. Um, deionize it means it took out all the minerals but any any water is fine you can do use plain tap water as well you're going to need some table salt you're going to need a baggie now this activity calls for one baggie but i recommend to use two to double bag your solution because you're going to be squishing your banana or your fruit or whatever you have just in case it pops i would also use cheesecloth and now if you don't have cheesecloth at home, you can use a regular old coffee filter or any type of thin paper that would uh, filter through your solution, okay? It's going to get all the chunks out, okay? Cheesecloth does not get the fibers out of it, and neither will the coffee filter, so it'll work great. You also need some type of soap. So you can use shampoo, hand soap body soap, anything, but try to get it clear, as clear as you can get it. My purpose today I'm going to use is uh, just regular shampoo that's clear. You also need some measuring utensils, okay? And you're going to need some cups that you can, any type of cup, again, you can use these. I'll stick with this type of cup, anything that you can use to mix up your solution and to filter it out, okay? You're also going to need a, another cup to put these so about three cups in total i'm going to use a test tube just to show you today but you can also use your cups and what you're going to do is you're going to take these items you're going to use these to extract your dna one thing i didn't forget i forgot to mention is your isopropyl alcohol it's just regular rubbing alcohol and you can use that if you have it at home it's the thing that you use to clean out wounds if you have anything like that it's just regular rubbing alcohol. And what you need to do is put that in the freezer. Now, it will not freeze, but it's going to make it really cold. So it'll shock your DNA and it'll separate it so that we can extract it. Okay, so let's get started here. The first thing I want to go over with you is some key terms that I'm going to be talking about just so you're aware. DNA is deoxyribose nucleic acid. It's a long word. But that is your DNA that makes each of us special and individual, along with fruit. All of it is different. We're also going to talk about extractions. Now, extraction is a procedure to extrude out things through a chemical or physical reaction. Okay, So we're going to use physical to get out the parts and chemical to get out our DNA today. We're also going to use filtrate. Filtrate is a filter form. And again, we're using our either cheesecloth or our filters for that. That's going to get out the big hunks and leave our liquid. Okay. It's given, a, it separates different sizes of atoms. Our last one is our precipitate. Precipitate is a solid mixture that you're getting out of your solution in a result of your chemical or physical reaction. Okay. So let's get started here. And again, I'm just going through the procedures. And there's a couple things I want to mention to you. One thing is, is if you have several siblings and you want to do this as a big group, you're going to want to use a half cup for our first part. You're going to need half a cup of water and either the whole banana or about four strawberries or about 20 blueberries. Now, if you're just doing it yourself, like I'm going to be doing it today, you're just going to use tablespoons. for you. So your first step is to use a tablespoon. And we're going to use this and get out our water. So you need two of those. So one, two. So two things of water. Okay. And then into the water, you're going to use a piece of your banana. Okay. So from your banana, you don't need a big piece. Just about that size will be perfect. You're going to put that into your cup. Now here comes the fun part. So you get your baggies. And you're going to put this mixture into your baggie 
your water and your banana. Okay, you're gonna get out as much air as possible and close your baggie. Okay, and again, I'm using a second baggie just because in case I bust it, I don't get it everywhere. Okay, again, same thing. And what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze this. Try to break up all the pieces the best you can with that water, okay? So you don't have any chunks, okay? So just try your best. It takes a little bit of time. You're breaking down the sugars or the glucose in the banana, okay? So you can do that for just a little bit. Don't do it too hard. You'll bust the baggie, okay? Just keep trying to get it out as much as you can here. Okay. Okay. So you get about a liquid solution, just like that, okay? Now, after you have this, we are going to make our buffer solution. A buffer solution is what's going to be used to help our chemical reaction go. So what we're going to do is in our empty cup that we just used, we're going to follow the directions, and it says to place one teaspoon of soap. Okay, so one teaspoon, here's my teaspoon of your soap. Okay, and make sure it's clear or the best clear that you can get, okay? And you're going to take this, and I use just a little spoon to get all that out. Okay. And into this, it says add one-fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay, so now we're going to use a fourth of a teaspoon of our salt. If you're doing this for the whole banana and for several people, you're going to want to take this times three. Okay, so here's our salt. And into this, we need two tablespoons of our water again. So we need two of these. So we got one, two. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to stir this for about a minute to three minutes just to get it dissolved, okay? So you wanna dissolve the salt, dissolve the soap, but don't whisk it. Don't like stir it real fast. You'll get it too foamy and it'll make the next step a little hard for you. Okay, so you're just gonna stir it, get it dissolved best you can. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to pour, it wants two tablespoons of our mixture. And if you remember, we added two tablespoons of water to our fruit, okay? We're gonna add the whole baggie of our fruit mixture. Okay, so then we're gonna dispose of that and you're going to stir this, okay, for about three minutes, okay? Let's just stir it real gentle. It's just to mix it all up with your buffer soap, salt solution and your banana, okay? Now, while we're doing that, what you're going to do is you're gonna take an empty cup and now we're gonna use our filtrate, our filtration system. So you're gonna take your filter or your cheesecloth or any type of filtering solution that you have and you want to make it fit over top of your cup, okay? Now, again, you can use the little bitty cups if you if that's what you have at home. You know, like the, these little ones for to use your, for brushing your teeth, um, but I'm gonna use this, this larger cup to show you. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cloth and you want to drape it on top of your cup here, okay? Because this is going to filter out your, your big pieces of your banana or your fruit. Now, what I recommend you doing is either taping it to the sides to keep this in place or use a rubber band. Okay, so I'm just going to use a rubber band because that's what I have on hand. Okay, and your rubber band, there you go. And what you're going to do is you're going to slowly pour this over top of your filtering solution to get out just the liquid. Okay, we want all the big pieces. Now, go slow. Don't overflow. You'll make a mess. Just slowly. And you can use, you can use your spoon to get out any of the extra pieces here, okay? Now, bananas have a lot of sugar in them, so it makes it kind of thick, okay? So you just wanna be very careful 
take some time, okay, to get that filtering through. Okay, so as you can see, see the little lumps there? That's what we don't want in there. So we've got to be careful. So we'll push that to the side here. You want all your liquid to get out. Okay, so there's all mine. We're just going to make sure we get all of our liquid out here. Okay, and what you're going to do is carefully remove this, not to get any of your lumps out of it. Okay, we're going to throw this away, discard of that. And what you have is just your liquid, okay? This is your filtrate. This is just what's left after you filter it, okay? Now, you can use this for another cup or you can use, what I'm going to use is to show you all because it's clear. So this is called a pipette solution. We're going to use our pipette. So I, you can use a regular spoon just to slifer out some of this. What I'm going to do is pull this out and you want to fill up whatever you're using about halfway okay so for my purpose i'm going to use about two tablespoons full okay so two tablespoons you want to fill this up okay so now i filled out about halfway okay and now here comes the fun part so now you need to go get your isopropyl alcohol your rubbing alcohol out of the freezer so let me grab mine Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. It's isopropyl alcohol, okay? Just rubbing alcohol over the counter. And what you're going to do is you can use a different spoon to slowly pour this in, or I'm gonna use a pipette to show you. Now, when you pour it in, don't push it straight in. It will break up the DNA you have in there, okay? So you wanna do it in an angle, and you wanna slowly put in this cold isopropyl alcohol, so that way it's going to shock your DNA because it's so cold and the chemical reaction of your alcohol is going to shock the DNA and pull it out, okay? So now you can slowly pull this up. And if you look, there's some little strings that are already starting to form, okay? So you can let this sit for about a minute and you'll slowly see it's starting to move up, okay? now. You can leave this in the container to see your DNA. I just happen to have this little little guy sitting around, and I'm going to put, put mine in here to show you, okay? Now, if you do move your DNA over into a container, make sure you put some of the liquid so it doesn't dry out, okay? So if you look, you'll see the alcohol. See, it's pulling it up. So here's our solution right here, and this is our DNA that it's slowly pulling up. Okay, so I'll give it just a second here. Oh, this banana had a lot of DNA in it. Look at all that right there. Okay, so all those little hairs, it's going to be, if you notice your alcohol is clear, it's going to be like a foggy, stringy-like. Okay, that's your DNA. So what you're going to do is you can leave it in here. You can slowly pour it out if you see it's moving in there, or I'm going to suck it up, okay? You can also, if you can use, um, if you have a kebab stick or um, any type of uh, kitchen utensil that's got a stick on it, what you do is you stick it down in the DNA and twist it, and it'll pull out the DNA, okay? Oh, do you see it? There we go. The DNA just went to the top. There's our DNA of our banana. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to suck it up, and I'm going to put this into our container, and I'll show you what this looks like in just a second here. Okay. There we go. Let me show you what we got going on here. Can you see it? That's our DNA to our banana. Pretty cool, huh? 
Okay, so I hope you all liked it. It's a lot of fun. You can do it with strawberries, blueberries, any type of fruit you have laying around. If you do your own DNA, you can do it with uh, water. So what you'll do is you'll just put about one tablespoon, a really small amount of water in your mouth. And you swoosh it around for about a good minute, scraping the sides of your mouth to get any skin cells off. And you do the same process. Okay? So hopefully you liked it. Have fun.